it is very crucial to uh, engage this large population. Half of the world population is us, and then there should not be anything about us without us. So the meaningful participation of young people is really needed at this point because this is 2016 start. I mean. This is January 2016. The SDGs has been effective now. So for the next 15 years, we have many things to do. But regarding the SDGs, as we know, the SDGs is, is, is now is not like MDGs. That MDGs were focused only for the developing countries. Well, the SDGs is for everybody, every country. So at this point, there are opportunities and challenges both simultaneously goes. So uh, what I see from my perspective is the countries uh, came on the treaty to implement SDGs and agreed on 17 global goals, um, especially those related to uh, SRH. I, I could name goal three and goal five most importantly, um, those uh, address the sexual health uh, issues, uh, sexual reproductive health issues, access to sex sexual reprodu reproductive health and gender equality for women, girls, and everyone. Uh, but the problem remains because any of those global goals actually couldn't, ac ac actually couldn't um, address the word called youth. So uh, the global goals, knowingly or unknowingly, the political leaders, they miss the term young people from all the 17 goals. That remains a global challenge for everybody, not just for the young people, for anybody. So at this point, we need to be more active to take part in those process to implement at country levels how the governments are actually thinking. Without, are they thinking with, to do these things without youth or with youth? including us or ex excluding us. But at this very point, I would see one thing, I, 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 I urge one thing, that the young people, especially the youth association and organization, should be more proactive to be engaged with the government process as a civil society organizations. So because the civil society organization is already listed in the global goals, it has been recognized. So this is, a, this is an opportunity even being at the challenging part. Uh, so from my perspective, from my country perspective, young people constitute almost 50% of, of the country population. And this cohort of youth is really uh, important to make sure that Bangladesh as a country in South Asia, taking the dividend, population dividend uh, in a meaningful way, not just um, doing the lip service, but doing the actual thing on the ground in terms of family planning, especially accessing uh, sexual reproductive health and rights. Uh, but the problem remains in countries like mine is uh, still, if, if even the government, even we do not have any stockouts, even we have less unmet needs, but the access to commodities remain a serious problem for young people. It's because the country remains in the taboo of being married or not. So in the social context, the unmarried people actually cannot f find themselves in a place to be comfortable to buy a commodity at places, even private pharmacies. So this kind of shyness and uh, social taboo make bars them from accessing services. So, so what we, what I think uh, as a young person, as a youth leader, that. Uh, we need to educate them. Sexual health education should be prioritized at schools, at communities, and uh, civil society, by civil society organizations to make sure that this is actually happening and they know that what to do. Uh, this is not a weird thing. This is what we need to do now, and this is at stake. So uh, when uh, the people are fighting for human rights, and we are talking about uh, sexual reproductive health and rights, and it's not different, primarily, because uh, sexual health rights and human rights are actually the same thing. It, it is human rights, first thing. So coming to three priorities, what I see is uh, ensuring legal access, legal, legalizing those services, those ex legalizing the access. So if you find that there are 150,000 around uh, men who have sex with men in the country. So you cannot simply ignore them. 
because if you ignore them, they remain silent and the risk of HIV and AIDS goes high and we actually cannot do the HIV prevalence workshops kind of things without addressing their needs. That's one thing. We cannot address, we, we cannot ignore the female sex workers who are working in the, uh, in, 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 in the, in many parts of the country who are living and, uh, and they're facing violences. So we cannot ignore them. So protecting, protecting all the, all these, uh, uh, target groups, young people with legal, uh, protection, uh, is, is really one priority should be now. Another thing is in terms of Bangladesh, there is a seventh, fifth year, uh, five years plan. So the national plan actually been activated since uh, July 2015. But uh, as we know, the SDGs came uh, after July. So it's high time to actually co coordinate the SDGs as the national plan. Otherwise, the government actually moves towards its own thing and the SDGs remain untouched, kind of, literally untouched, although SDGs are reflections of government's political aims or, and, and many things. That's uh, two things. And the third one is uh, how could we ensure youth participation more? Not participation as a showcase that young people are coming to the meetings and they're uh, sitting at the corner as a show, not that. We need to empower them, give them spaces on the dais. We need to give them spaces with microphones to speak them out and let them speak what they want to say and we need to use words for them we need to give them the time that the essential the essential time to speak out it's not that you you speak for one minute and we speak for 10 minutes no young people should have the mo most equal rights to other uh, other 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 groups as adults and anyone. I'm just reiterating my earlier message that is uh, half of the global population is young people. We cannot ignore them simply. And we need to take their words. We need to act on their words. And we need to analyze what actually young people globally want. This is what 2013 goals are all about. Because after 15 years, we need to be accountable. So the accountability ex advocacy should be driven by the young people. After 15 years, it's the young people leading the world. So we, we, we must ensure they're participating in it.